G'day, g'day, Diane here. And today we're working on a flippy, taggy, ornamental type thing. Can't give you the scientific name for that. Um, it's for a, a YouTube hop from Makers Creative Collaboration, and that's PM Artist Studio. So this is my first one and bear with me while I muddle through all the formalities and the things. Um, so let's just get into it. I've actually pre-cut a few things and pre-inked a few things just to get things so the video goes a bit faster because we only have a certain amount of time. So what I'm going to make is a book tag and it will have so we had to choose from six categories and we had to choose three items from those categories, at least from three categories. Yep, that's right. So I went with glitter and sparkle. I went with metals. I went with silk. I went with mossy stuff and I probably went off script and went a little rogue as they say over there um, so this is what I'm gonna make anyway so I have got a piece of chipboard which I've mounted watercolor paper to the back of um, so I'm going to put this blingy bling bling stuff on here Don't want too much, just enough to get it to grip. So I've been super busy. I've had my granddaughter here and she's been helping. So I haven't got much crafting done because at the moment I'm making Christmas albums and Winter Wonderland albums and I've got lots of white and lots of glitter which don't bear well with four-year-olds wanting to help so we've been making other stuff. So I've got some, another piece of watercolour paper here which I've just um, put some gold paint down and inked around the edge with that and put that on top. So I've just used um, the golden iridescent gold deep fine for this. It just has such a beautiful shimmer to it and it's just the perfect gold. One of my favourites. So this will be the back of our tag. I'll just trim this off. Just going to leave a little bit overhanging from the edge because that's what I like to do. No, we'll use that later. And I've got a, got a tag here somewhere. See, you think you're organised and you're just not. Oh well, we'll come back to that. Okay, so this side will be our little um, book opening. So we need to put a hinge on here. And I'm just going to do a washi hinge on the inside. And we'll reinforce that. I 
on the outside. With some fabric. I didn't quite escape my granddaughter taking bits off my desk. She's taken my other little hingy bit. Oh well, I'll cut another one. So I'm just making a couple of hinges out of this wired Christmas ribbing. A little bit hanging over there. And then we'll stick this down. I'm just using Eileen's tacky glue. It's pretty good. Not expensive glue to use. Does a good job. Takes a little longer to adhere than the art glitter glue. But I'm waiting on a delivery of that and of course being Christmas it hasn't come in Set up glitter glue on these hinges. I've got a tiny bit left, may as well use it. Alright, we're gonna need some clips for that. Just clip that for a minute while we wait for it to dry. Okay, so on the front we're going to use this mossy, mossy stuff to make a little bird's nest. I don't know if you've seen my last two Christmas albums that I've made birds nests on the covers of the journals a white one and a red one for the the other Christmas journal so I bought this stuff on a, a roll I can find it 
Christmas stash here. It's made a dash for it somewhere. On the floor. Hello. <laughs> so it just comes on a roll like this and you just cut off whatever piece you want which I fell in love with and bought the last three rolls and have never been able to find it again since of course hmm. could probably have used my hot glue gun for this if I had a thought about it earlier Uh, for those that don't know I live on a bus and this workbench is my whole studio so everything is crammed into this bunk space on the bus and it makes for very messy crafting but that's okay I don't mind that for that for now just give that a quick dry too much because it will melt the leaves Alrighty. So I'm just going to do a little bit of stenciling just with my finger Well, that's a bit rough. Didn't work out very well at all. Well, goodness gracious me, we're going to have to put a pocket on there, I think. No mistakes, just detours. That's what they say, isn't it? So gold paint is part of the list, or paint is, and bling. And I've got fabric, which is scraps. of this so is everybody ready for Christmas I'm not I'm nowhere near ready for Christmas and I've got the kids the grandkids Christmas presents I haven't wrapped them we're about to head off down to Brisbane to see them very soon and I'm not ready. So I'm going to give a little bit of texture paste. Put 
Put some paint in there. We'll try our stencil again. That's better. Here is my metal. There, or do I want that there? I think I might do a faux hinge on here. to hang. And jump rings. So when I get cleaned up after all of these oh, um, glittery albums and clean my space I'll do a video walkthrough and you'll be able to see just how small my space is Believe quite stuck. There. Alrighty. So that's it. All done. We've got our metal, we've got our bling, we've got our paint, we've got our mossy stuff, we've got glitter, we've got fabric scraps, washi, stenciling, and paint. And beads. That's it, turned out pretty good. It's pretty. Thanks for